Hi, my name is Jay from G11 and today I'm going to show you my invention which is acoustic levitating glove look like this. Have you ever thought about having some superpower? I wish to have one, especially the psychokinesis. Therefore, in this sense here, I decided to make a machine that helps me to levitate objects without touching them. There are many ways to levitate things. For example, I can arrange using a magnet. By researching, I figured that some sound waves are able to levitate things theoretically. If we make some objects stuck between the sound wave, the object is able to float. This is how it works. To be more detailed, as in the image, by using two of the speaker, we are able to make two of the sound waves, and those sound waves has basically two ranges called node and antinode. By putting one object between the antinode and node, waves compresses the object from down and up, which results in levitation. This is basically all. So the material that we need is first ultrasonic sensor, motor driver, multimeter, computer, glove, glue gun, 12, 12 volt battery socket, battery, electrical tape, scissors, driver, conductive cable, lead inhaler, soldering machine, lead, and lastly, Arduino Uno. What we have to do is that we have to detach this ultrasonic sound module from the Arduino board, which is called HC. SR04. After you detach all of this module from the board by so soldering machine, we have to use multimeter to figure out which polar is plus and which polar is minus. By using the soldering machine and lead inhaler, we are able to make, clean up those poles which are really helpful for detecting poles with multimeter. This machine is called multimeter and by using it we are able to detect which is plus and which is which pole is minus because if we put the red stick in the plus and black stick in the minus pole the number will be positive and if we do this inversely number will be minus as you can see if I put those poles in right place the number shows positively and which means it is right place so i will put mark on my ultrasonic sensor with cutting knife to positive one and by working it i am now able to know which pole is positive so next step is that i'm going to use my jumper cable which is also known as conductive cable to make my sensors pulled longer to make sure that those are able to be fit in my gloves. By sobering this, I am now able to make both of them stick in one place. After soldering it, we have to put ultrasonic module, 12 volt battery socket, motor driver, and Arduino Uno as one. This is a more detailed circuit diagram. I will be using the 5 volt input of the Arduino board, and I have used the A0 and A1 pins to transform my data. The ground of the motor drive and the ground of the Arduino were connected through a cable, and the minus part of the the additional 12 volt battery was also connected to the ground of the motor drive. 
After combining the two ultrasonic modules with the same poles, insert them separately into pins of the motor drive, and finally insert plus cable of the 12 volt battery and 5 volt cable of the Arduino into motor drive. It is now completed. So this is the code that I used to generate ultrasound. Since it used specific sound wave functions, it would take too much time to explain every code, so I will only explain a few parts. The upper part, upper part of the code serves as a pin to generate sound waves and to help turn on sound waves. And the codes under it used OCR1A that generates sound waves of a specific frequency, TCCR1B that changes the mode, and TIMSK1 that acts as a timer. In the ISR function, the code that actually generates a value are written. Through this code, we can create ultra sound waves to levitate things. Before making a formal skeleton, I will make a very attempt by making cardboard. I'll try different hertz, try different angle, and also measure the length between different modules to see which method lifts things the best. These are the stats, stats I've been experimenting with. And as a result, most of the object float at 40 hertz. Even when I thought, it seems to be, it seems that a sound wave of about 40 hertz would create more space than a sound wave of about 80 hertz. And it seems that various objects could float in the air. The principle of floating better at a smaller length seemed to be possible because the sound wave did not lose much. And this is my actual levitation experiment. After all of the experiments, I used clay to fix it at the most floating length. But if you look closely, you can see that it floats even if it shakes and falls. This is possible because the two in-between spaces exist at the same time. After gluing all of the parts of my glove, it became one of my inventions which is called acoustic levitating glove. This is really my final product that supplies power to the Arduino board using 9V battery after removing the blue cable. And my experiment is not over. I couldn't put in 22 hours of consecutive failures in such a short time, but it was rather difficult and I wanted to give up. After making the final product, I realized that the acoustic levitation glove is a truly great piece of work and that it is a technology that has infinite limitation if it continues to develop here.